What's cracking YouTube? Neck Punch here. So my fake Mont region and game introduces four new Pokemon types, which I'm well aware annoys some people. Everyone's got their own opinion on whether fake Mon should stick to the 18 canon types or should dip into new types, and everyone's entitled to that opinion. I love my new types, so I'm pretty comfortable ignoring the hate comments directed at my passion project, but I also get comments expressing confusion about my new types. People saying that they don't get them or they don't make sense, and that, I think, is actually fair criticism, since I've never given a good explanation of my thought process. So I'm going to do a few videos about my new types and why I'm choosing to include them. I'm going to do a video on each of my four new types, and this first one is going to focus on the light type. But first, a little defense of new types in general. This is my opinion on the subject, and why I chose to include new types at all. First, in my experience, new types make fake mon design more fun. This should be enough reason. The more types, the more combinations, and the more inspirations. I've had ideas for Pokemon inspired by the idea of a new type that I probably wouldn't have had if not for the addition of that type. Secondly, by extension, new types lead to more diversity of designs and more uniqueness. For example, Grass, Poison, and Dark are already by far the most represented types in my region. That would be even worse if I just said all fungal types are now either grass or poison, or all blood types are dark or poison. Adding new types created space for more designs without them just being more of the same. I am not trying to say that new types are needed, that new types are coming, that the game is unbalanced, or even that new types in actual canon games is a good idea. I don't think any of those things. I just think that when it comes to fake mon design, not game design, new types make the experience better. Deal with it. That said, let's look at my inclusion of the most stock standard of all the fake types, the light type. My version of the light type is a combination of actual physical light as a wave and a particle, as well as concepts of goodness, righteousness, and the power of the spirit. Of course, there's overlap with electric, fire, psychic, steel, grass, and fairy, but let me show you where I think light type fits. For me, light type would be the opposite of dark type, the same way fairy type is the opposite of dragon type. A couple of years ago, Loxton did a great pair of videos about the fairy and dragon types, where he explained in detail how they both seem to fit the role of nature magic, with dragon types being able to rip out and harness this raw natural power, and fairy types being embodiments of it, representing the same energy, but in its purest form, explaining the immunity to dragon. Dragon type energy can't touch them because it's just a more chaotic, less well-controlled version of them. I love this, and it led me to think about different kinds of energy Pokemon can have. So go with me for a minute. What if Pokemon had access to different kinds of magical energy? Nature magic energy, which comes from the Poke Earth itself, and a kind of spiritual energy, which comes from the Pokemon's own soul. Of course, this isn't canon, but this is just a fun what if it was? Fairy types would be the embodiment of nature magic, dragon types adept at ripping the raw power from nature. This gives dragons resistances to some of the most common elemental types, gives fairies weaknesses to the least natural types, and gives fairy an immunity to the type of energy which it itself is an embodiment of. Fairies represent nature magic in its purest, most controlled form, dragons represent a raw, chaotic version of it. And in exactly the same way, light types would be the embodiment of this spirit magic, representing energy from the soul in its purest, most controlled form. Dark types, on the other hand, would represent an uncontrolled, chaotic, and corrupted form of it, giving light an immunity to dark. Which, let's be honest, it has in real life. Have you ever tried to shine darkness on light? Yeah. Doesn't make sense, does it? So dark covers evil as well as literal physical darkness. Fairy covers goodness, but more in an innocence and playfulness sort of way. I'd have light cover goodness in a more righteousness sort of way. So whilst fairy dips into sprites, pixies, fairies, nature spirits and such, light would lean more towards heavenly beings, such as angels and that kind of thing. So why go to all this trouble to shoehorn the light type into a fake dex? What's the point? Well, I'll admit, it's mostly just because I think we should have had light type from the beginning. 
I wanted it in Gen 2 alongside Dark, and I wanted it instead of Fairy. I don't want to cut Fairy now because they gave Fairy to my favorite Pokemon, but I don't want to let go of Light either. It just bothers me so much to have Dark and not Light. I know I'm being a little irrational, but that's just the way it is. Even with all the other types that seem to already be doing Light type's job, I've convinced myself that it can still fill a niche. And I do think that some Mons would be more interesting, and arguably make a little more sense, if they were light type. For example, Solgaleo is weak to fire. It's weak to fire. Now light could resist fire, which would have given them the opportunity to make Solgaleo steal light, and at least fire would be neutral, which seems reasonable for a Pokemon based on the sun. So in the Koteon region, which mons get retconned to be light type? The Finny Online, Volbeat and Illumise. Illumise? Illumise? Whatever. And that's if I actually put them in the game, which I probably won't because is anyone actually catching these? Really? Ampharos, Sunflora, and Cherim's Sunshine form. And notice how none of these were retconned to be fairy type and they all fit light type quite well, so fairy and light are not exactly the same, are they? Okay, I'm done. And to be honest with you, if I find a good reason to include Xerneas, Necrozma, or the Cosmog line, expect them to also be light type. Now, honorable mentions go to the Ralts line and the Moralot line. These would work as light type, since the Moralot line do literally glow with light, and Gardevoir is based on that righteous protector vibe more than the playful impish fairy, but I think it'd be too weird to change them, and they both have enough of a woodland sprite feel in my mind to justify keeping them as fairy types. Different to the Cosmog line, where I feel like light fits way better than Psychic. Some light type fake mon that I've drawn full size artwork of are the Gloom line, Kotean Growlithe and Arcanine, my Pikachu clone Yakutashi, Spectreon, my light type Eevee evolution, Spinalith, and Pentart, which is also a blood type. More on them later. There's a few others that I've only done sprites of. Many of them I've already shared, but let's take another look. The Kotean Shinx line as dark and light types. I originally retconned Luxray to be Electric Light, but I wanted to fit Dark in too, and then I had the idea that they could have originally been Dark and Light, and later evolved to be Electric types because they live near Mount Coronet. Elatox is a new Pokemon I haven't previously shown on the channel. I love snakes. I have this weird compulsion to design way too many snake Pokemon. I wanted a Death Adder, a Brown Snake, a Sea Snake, a Taipan, and a Tiger Snake, which I thought was probably too many snakes. So I decided on one Mon with five forms based on location. All the snakes I was looking at are Elapids, Elapids, I don't know. So the name is that plus toxic, and Elatox's desert form, based on the brown snake, is a poison light type. Sharan and Toraidon were originally water fighting, but I had a few other water fighting types, and the only other water light type that I'm using is Luminion, case in point that more types equals more diversity. Kaharima, Miro, and Mirage were introduced during 50 Days of Fakemon a couple of years ago. This is Sporlodon, another new mon, evolved form of Palodome. Yes, it's also a fungal type. <gasps> More on them in a later video too. And finally, Kotean Kofagrigus. So I'm including Galarian Yamask in my game. The lore is that since the runestone thing is likely based on a seafaring culture, this kind of Yamask could exist in other regions too. And rather than do my own Yamask variant, as is the trend these days, I just want Galarian Yamask. But with a way to evolve into a sort of Galarian Kofagrigus, but not in Galar. So it's Kotean Kofagrigus, I guess. There's a spot that I already established in the region called the Emitting Rock, which radiates a mystical light, which can make some Pokemon evolve and change the form of others. If you take your Yamask there, then the dark spirit inside the clay painting keeping Yamask captive will be burned away, allowing Yamask to evolve. It incorporates the clay, now heated into glass, into its design, becoming a ghost light type. I know that's not how glass making works. Shh. And no, that's not a glass type. I'm not doing glass type. Feel free to tell me that we don't need a light type, that Game Freak will never do light type, that if they were going to, they would have done it in Gen 7 when the whole storyline revolved around light, and I'll agree with you. But at least you can't tell me that the light type makes no sense. Of course, some people still will, and I'll politely point them to this video. I love you all. Thank you for indulging me with this Fakemon project. Hit me up with ideas for light types. And until next time, my name is Neckpunch. Have a good one.